A one mile walk to get your VO2 max? How can you beat that? The Rockport walking test is the perfect cardio fitness test for beginners. Time yourself for a one mile brisk walk and take your pulse afterward. Your test results give you valuable health information, comparing your score to survival standards for your age group. The test results depend on your heart rate and walking speed. The faster your speed, the stronger your exertion, and the more accurate your score will be. If you haven't practiced power walking technique, you may find that you can walk faster than you think. With an aggressive arm swing and intentional push off, power walking recruits more muscle groups to help propel you forward. My top walking speed over a mile increased from 4.3 to 4.9 miles per hour by switching from brisk walking to power walking. Keep your elbows bent 90 degrees and drive your elbows back with your steps. Intentionally push off the ball of your foot with each step. Throughout the walk, stay tall and keep your gaze forward. Use power walking for the test only if you feel comfortable with it. You want to hold a steady pace for the entire mile. Before you start the test, practice taking your pulse to be sure you'll get an accurate score. With your palm facing up, place your fingers over the thumb side of your wrist, just to the inside of your wrist tendons. Press in gently and feel for your pulse. You'll take your pulse for 15 seconds right after you finish walking. Do you have a good route picked out? Avoid hills or traffic, which would increase your heart rate or slow you down. You can use a track, a treadmill set at 1% grade, or a fitness watch to measure the one mile distance. If you're going to walk as fast as you can, a warm up would be a smart move. Light effort walking and a couple sets of leg swings and brief stretching exercises work well to activate your muscles and boost your circulation before you begin. If you're getting value from this video so far, comment below and smash those like and subscribe buttons. When you're ready, start your timer and walk at the best pace you can maintain for a full mile. Record your time at the one mile mark, and then take your pulse by hand for 15 seconds immediately after the test. Multiply your counted pulse by four to get your heart rate. If your fitness watch has an accurate heart rate monitor, check it at the end of your test. To get your score, enter your heart rate and your one mile walk time into the Rockport Walking Test Calculator at yiexercise.com. Let's compare your score with your age group standards. If you're 22 years old or younger, multiply the number you get from the calculator by 0.81 to get your score. Age group is in the left column, death risk and fitness rating are in the top rows, and 10-year survival is in the bottom row. Notice the difference it makes to improve from poor to fair fitness. Here's the chart for men. Age group is in the left column, death risk and fitness rating are in the top rows, and 10-year survival is in the bottom row. The scoring standards come from Cleveland Clinic VO2 max testing of over 120,000 people with 15 years of follow-up to gauge health outcomes. If you're a male, 22 years old or younger, multiply the number you get from the calculator by 0.85 to get your score. YI Exercise also offers calculators for VO2 max, BMI, and waist hip ratio as a free download. The test formula gives the most accurate results for non-athlete working age adults. If a one mile brisk walk would be very easy for you, even at a power walking pace, you'll get a more accurate score from a maximum effort test, like the Cooper 1.5 mile or 12 minute run. Though it doesn't give a VO2 max score, the YMCA three minute step test is the best non-running alternative cardio fitness test. One of many studies on the health effects of extra steps per day reported an 8% lower risk of death for every 1,000 steps. Depending on your pace, 1,000 steps take only 7 to 10 minutes. Build up gradually to 20 to 30 minutes of daily walking, and you could lower your risk of death by 24%. Improving your fitness can be as simple as spending more time on your usual activities. Here's a range of physical activities compared by their intensity. Find activities similar to these that are available to you in a typical busy week. Establish a routine and get used to being more active. Then pick up the intensity to increase your benefits. There are more and more possibilities as you get in better shape. After two to three months of daily exercise, take the Rockport test a second time and compare your score. This was the third video from episode five of our masterclass series, Fit for Your Life. We're covering tools for getting the health benefits you need from the lifestyle you enjoy. Please share in the comments below about your fitness goals for this year, and check out the other episodes if you haven't seen them yet. In the meantime, subscribe to this channel, then you won't miss any upcoming videos about health, exercise, and fitness. See you next time.